happening today. Some parents of Chicago Public School students want to know why some schools are getting millions for improvements, but others are getting nothing. <coughs> And the questions want to take. And this. the questions <laughs> come as Chicago Board of Education gets ready to vote on a capital budget this morning for CPS. CBS News Lauren Victory live right now on South CPS offices downtown. Lauren. Hi there, Susanna Marissa. Well, this nearly billion dollar capital budget is helped by an extra 64 million from Illinois after a change to the state's education funding formula. But questions remain over the math done by the city. The proposal under consideration today features expanded full day pre-K, a brand new open enrollment school on the near west side, high speed internet and new devices for all 300,000 students and modern science labs in all 600 schools. Additionally, some schools will receive huge chunks of cash for improvements. $8.2 million will go towards athletic facilities at Phillips High School in Bronzeville. Another 17 mill is set to head to Ravenswood Elementary for a new roof. But several schools won't be getting any extra bucks. Parents from various local school councils are wondering why no love. A lot of this is going towards new construction. How did they decide that? What kind of community input did they get? How are they deciding? And that's the thing. Maybe, maybe it is all something that we would all understand, but nobody knows it's a big mystery. So we asked CPS those same questions and we were told that the capital budget is quote based on the needs of the school communities and that quote some investments are still being assessed. That's according to a statement. Perhaps more answers will come in this morning's 1030 meeting here at CPS. I'm Laura Victor reporting live in the loop. CBS 2 News. Marissa. All right, Lauren, thank you.